morning everyone and welcome to day four in our giving for five days of giving and here we are today with gift number four now before we start on gift number four i want you to realize this and check in with yourself right now that with you being on day four you're at four percent better whether you've incorporated all of the gifts into your life today or you've incorporated one and you've been doing it for the last for, for the last three days and today you're at four percent better this is the gift that keeps on giving the moment you have made the decision to incorporate that change that gift and receive that fully and wholly into your life no matter how advanced <laughs> or where you are in processing that gift. I know that celebrate, for instance, is a challenge for some of us, celebrate, and I totally get it. We've not been told that before, right? Uh, when we became adults, no one told us, actually, have you, do you still celebrate all your tiny little achievements? Tiny and not so tiny, the ones that matter to you. And it's, it's having that consciousness, the different levels of consciousness. And when you start taking it on, no matter how clunky, awkward, whether you get the effect, full effect of it or not, know that you're already on 1% better because you're giving it a go, a fair go, as much as it might terrify you or be unusual, or awkward to be doing it in the first place you're at 3% better and by the end of the day, you're at 4% better. And now add everything else in your life that you're going to do today. We all have I don't know, this much we need to do, right? This amount we actually have to do in this amount of time. And we're going to try to squeeze our 1%. Make the 1% your front of mind. Know that with everything you're doing, that's your 1%, then the next 1%, and the next 1%. And all your 1%, they add up. They add up. This is the opportunity for you to really get into the spirit of celebrating you, of appreciating you, of realizing how much you matter in this whole piece of your life. How much you matter, that you're the most intricate piece in this whole puzzle called life. Why not celebrate? Why not breathe? <laughs> Why not experience this feeling of wanting to recognize yourself? Recognize yourself even more than ever before. And today, on that note, today's gift is the gift of no shame or judgment. And this is the gift that really matters. I'll tell you, all these four gifts is, is the tenet of our business. It's how we run our business. It's how we run our relationships with our client. And especially this particular gift, no shame or judgment, makes a huge difference in the way we work. There is no shame or judgment. We are all stars traveling at our own speed. And that's, that's how we've been designed. And there is no shame or judgment for the speed that we are going at. Today from your life, we get into, you know, how many of you resonate with this? So where you grew up in an environment where either you were constantly compared to others, your siblings, your peers, your cousins of the same age, or you were not given any feedback, right? Comparison was the feedback or silence was the feedback. And then became that inner journey, like, you know, as children, we don't realize what we need. What we end up doing is trying to compensate for what we are not getting. And what we were not getting in those moments were, you're enough, you matter, and I love you as you are. 
when we hear these comparative statements or we're not hearing any feedback about how proud someone is for us of us that they see us for who we are the adults in our lives as children they don't see us as who we are as children we think that this is you no know, i'm not good enough i i don't have a gauge on where i am or where i stand or where i belong i don't have a gauge do i matter and without being told we get into this convincing act this this doing of i i need to i need to do more i need to you know react in a certain way in order to get the response of i am loved i am appreciated i am cherished i am desired when this becomes consistent for us as children we take that into our adult lives don't we how many of you identify with the whole i do compare myself to others when i'm not getting enough of it i compare enough of what i think is success i compare or when i start seeing the failure oh boy right we start beating ourselves up because understanding that the feedback mattered to us in this world where there is so much shame and judgment for who we are who we are trying to be the journey we are making our identity our skin color our race my goodness our thoughts our beliefs our decisions our actions our lifestyle choices as some might call it there's so much shame and judgment on what needs to be the right way and here i am introducing you to the gift of no shame or judgment when you make this your gift when you accept this as your gift what you're inviting yourself to do is say self compassion kindness love that's what i am choosing self compassion kindness and love what are what are the other ways that you will be responding to you when you make a mistake or when you experience failure or you start going into the negative thinking or the comparative thinking imagine being doing the whole i am not going to shame myself for even being there in the first place and saying oh, i've got so much compassion for myself now because i know where it's come from and i know i don't need to do that anymore i can move on i am good enough and i'm celebrating the fact this is what i've done this is how i'm 1% better each day no shame or judgment is the very thing that allows us to have honest conversations no barriers and being okay with no filters we are each at our own pace imagine being able to create the space within yourself where you know that no matter what you say you're still okay because there's no shame or judgment for what you think no shame or judgment for what you think what you feel how you perceive things and it becomes very matter of factly and still safe have you experienced this moment in your life where you've made like a snap decision like oh i made a mistake okay got it let's move on we tell that so easily to one another don't we it's it's just a mistake don't worry about it it's not you know it's not the end of the world do we really believe that for ourselves or do we shame and judge ourselves the key to this is in that moment when you're about to experience shame or judgment on your own is saying i'm not doing that anymore that's the decision i'm not doing that anymore and allow yourself to then experience what else is possible 
And this is the gateway to more self-compassion, more self-love, more self-confidence, more self-power. Truly, it is. That's what's on the other side. Shame and judgment keeps us away from that. I'm guessing you want more self-love, more self-compassion, more self-power, and more self-confidence. Yeah. I'd sign up for that every day. I do, in fact. No matter what happens, dust it off and move on. And this is how I do it. And I've seen this in my clients when I work with them, like, oh, no shame, no judgment. Knowing that they can speak their minds. I do this with children. We do this with children mostly, don't we? Oh, and then we start teaching them how to speak, how to be appropriate how to be compassionate when they're speaking. And we lose sight of these gifts for ourselves. So here's your opportunity to practice this, to incorporate this gift fully into your life. And I will tell you the first time you do it, you'll be marveled. Me marvel at, oh, that wasn't too difficult. Keep at it. <laughs> you may come to the point where, it's so much easier to stay in the shame and judgment. So much easier to see what's wrong with me and focus on that as opposed to what's actually great about me. What's freaking amazing about me right now. When you practice the gift of no shame or judgment, that's a massive 1%. Massive 1% better. It is... And this is one of the gifts that transforms your perspective on life. Transforms. I'm leaving you with this gift. Cherish this gift. Use it fully and completely as much as possible. This is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'll see you tomorrow on day five. Enjoy this beautiful day. Catch you later. Bye-bye now.